Thanks for tuning in at Brackies. Hello everyone and welcome to the last video where we're going to be focusing on our upgrade menu within our 2D platformer course. So today we are going to be finishing off the system by adding some audio to it. We are also going to be adding a way for us to actually spend money and we are also going to be adding uh, a way for us to earn money by killing enemies. So they will have some kind of money drop. So that's going to be very exciting. Uh, but we'll actually start off by uh, fixing a small bug with uh, our enemies still spawning whenever we have the upgrade menu open so uh, that's the first thing we're going to do also if you haven't seen the la latest videos i've published i'm now on patreon i've gone full-time with brecky so if you want to support me in making these videos along with the other courses you can go there and donate any uh, monthly amount and um, it really helps out a lot so check that out if you want to and without further ado let's dig right into today's video so you can see that i'm here in unity and uh, the first thing that i want to do is go to our um, UI overlay and then upgrade menu and double click this to open it up in Visual Studio. And basically, we've already implemented this uh, static int variable that sits on our game master object that stores our current amount of money. So all we need to do within this here is simply edit that amount. So under our upgrade health and upgrade speed, which are called whenever we press the two buttons, we will simply go in and say money or game master dot money and then subtract that by some amount and this amount I want to be specified by a variable up here. You can of course have different amounts depending on what you want to upgrade but in our sake for simplicity I'm just going to have one fixed amount. You can make multiple variables if that's something you desire. So I'm going just going to have a private int which is going to be the upgrade cost and set that to a default of 50. Then we can go down here and say the amount we want to subtract is the actual upgrade cost. And we can then duplicate this um, statement there uh, to put it down here. And now we're subtracting money. And if we go into our game here, we can actually see that this should work. So if I press U here, and now I'm just going to wait a second because you can see down here it says that it spawned some enemies. And if we wait, you can actually hear those hitting our player. And that's definitely an issue. Respawning. And you can Three, hear there that two, we died one. and we are now respawning. So that's actually what I really wanted to fix before moving further with the upgrade menu. However, you can see that we've already made some progress. Now we can spend money, but we can also go below zero. So there's some stuff here that we need to clear up. So let's just save this and leave the upgrade menu itself for just a moment. And let's find the place in our game master code um, where we are enabling and disabling this upgrade menu so that we can enable and disable the wave spawner as well. So if we open up our game master here and find the place that says toggle upgrade menu, you can see here that we are toggling whether or not the upgrade menu object should be active. And then we are invoking a delegate method that will call a different bunch of different methods subscribe to that delegate and make sure that stuff like the enemies stop moving and uh, the player cannot shoot anymore or move anymore. However, this doesn't include enemies that have not yet been spawned. And since enemies keep spawning, well, then they are going to move and then kill us while we're in pause mode. And that's really annoying. So what we want to do is simply add some kind of reference up here. And this is going to be another serialized field. Whoops. Didn't meant to delete that. So this is going to be another serialized field and we can call this a private and let's just make it a, let's make it a game object. Uh, actually, let's just do the wave spawner here. So a private wave spawner and we're just going to call this one wave spawner and we can take this here and put it down here on a new line and set wave spawner dot enable to be equal to the opposite of our current act uh, upgrade menus active self. So if our upgrade menu is enabled, we want our wave spawner to be disabled and uh, in the same the other way around. So let's uh, try and save that. And let's remember inside of Unity to actually drag in the wave spawner. We could also use get component, but these might sit on different objects. So it's good just to do this. It's very simple. And when we hit play now and we press upgrade here, 
you can see that our wave spawner gets disabled and nothing is happening in the background and when I now press this again, you can see it continues counting from where it left off. There is however a smaller problem with this and that is if we are so unlucky as to pause right when the wave has started spawning um, but it um, and, and the countdown timer has reached zero, well then it will actually continue. You can see here if I pause right now Actually, that was a bit too quick. So right now, you can see it spawns an enemy while I'm in the upgrade menu. And the reason for this is that disabling an object will not stop uh, if I just find a wave spawner here. Disabling an object will not spawn uh, or stop any coroutines that is currently going on that object. And that's what we have here. We have this coroutine with a for loop uh, that simply yields and uh, waits for a certain amount of seconds between spawning each enemy. And you might go in here and add some custom code that checks whether or not um, it should spawn an enemy. And if it shouldn't, it might either just wait or add it to some queue that th is then spawned in afterwards but I think that would be too much for this video right now I've just showed you what kind of problem we have going on here and I think it would be a great challenge for you uh, to solve that on your own if you can figure it out I would definitely recommend you check out the forum um, there's definitely going to be a thread on there explaining how to do this stuff so uh, without further ado let's continue with our upgrade menu now that we've fixed this um, issue so Let's save this and uh, let's find our upgrade menu again. And we are now subtracting money. However, we are actually able to spend money that we don't have. It's almost like real life, right? So <laughs> we can go up here and we can add an if statement that says if our current amount of money, which is gamemaster.money, is less than the upgrade cost well then we shouldn't be able to spend anything so we are going to hit return and right above that we are going to add in some kind of uh, sound that says something about the money not being there you could say uh, need more money or anything have a voiceover you could just make some kind of sound that gives off the impression that something isn't working so uh, that's what we are going to do here and uh, let's actually add in these sounds right now. So uh, I'm going to call our audio manager here dot instance and then dot play sound. And remember, we've done this a lot of times before in some of the earlier videos. And this audio manager, we of course made ourselves and we know that it takes in a string with the name of the audio sound that we want to uh, display or to be played of course and uh, I'm going to we haven't made this sound yet but I'm going to call this uh, no money and then we can also play a sound for when we are successful so um, upgrade complete we can call this one or we could just call it something like uh, money Actually, let's just call this one money and then we'll have some kind of generic sound. We could also call it bonus or upgrade or something. But we are actually going to have the same sound played for when we upgrade and for when we gain money from an enemy. So let's just call that one money. And uh, we can do the same down here. So we can add the if statement down here like that. And we can actually add the money sound as well. And now we can go into Unity. And we can find our audio manager and we can add two new slots here. And the first one is going to be um, no money. And the second one is going to be money. And then we can find some audio clips that we want to use under our audio folder. And if there isn't one that you would like to use, you can go ahead and find our 2D assets pack, which is downloadable from brackies.com. And you can go under audio and find the bonus and click audio files i really like those two and let's drag those under uh, unity here and we can just preview them quickly so this is our bonus so and this is our click so our bonus is going to be the money sound and you don't need to rename these and our click is going to be the no money sound so uh if we have our audio manager we can drag the no money under no money and the money under money and then we can maybe turn down the volume just a bit on these sounds especially on the money sound that's a bit loud and you don't want this to be too crazy and you can of course adjust the pitch randomness and all that so that's going to be fine for now and uh, that should indeed be working so if we hit play here 
bring up the upgrade menu and upgrade. We are going to hear that going up and our money is now at zero. So now we are going to be hearing the no money sound. Great, so that is working and we should see actually that when we spend some money and then go out of this view, the money uh, amount here will have updated as well. And what we can do now is simply uh, allow us to gain some money from the enemy. So we'll add some kind of money drop. So if we find our um, our enemy uh, script on the scripts and then enemy, double click to open this up, we're going to add a new variable here. Uh, just like we have the public string death sound name, we are also going to have a public int, which is going to be the money drop. And I'm going to set that as a default to 10. And you can of course randomize this um, and then we can go under the GM object under our game master and we can find the place that says kill enemy here and we want of course the local kill enemy and it takes in an enemy so why not use the money drop on that enemy. You could of course just have hard coded the value in here but instead I'm going to say money plus equals and then enemy dot money drop and this way different enemies can drop different amounts of money which is definitely something that you want to do for your game. Uh, remember again I'm just using a single enemy because I don't have time in this tutorial to sit here and play around with different enemies. That's stuff that you can play around with yourself and that I definitely recommend you play around with yourself. Um, but um, the idea is here, so the infrastructure is uh, right there for you to use. So we are going to uh, gain some money and um, we are going to do this with, of course, a sound. So we are going to have our uh, audio manager and we actually have a reference to it here so we don't need to do dot instance or anything. And then dot play sound and the sound that we want to play is money. And again, I'm hard coding this in if you want to be really um, uh, really clean in your code, you should make a variable uh, for it above. But uh, this is what happens. You, you uh, are really clean with all your code and then you get into the project and you start being a bit more messy. But that's all right. So let's save that and let's uh, clear the log here and the scripts. And everything looks great. Let's hit apply on the GM object. We haven't done that in quite a while. Uh, and I actually also want to bring up the health region rate to something a lot higher. And uh, let's actually hit play now. And I actually want to do this in full screen mode. So uh, play. And uh, we can move them around here and some uh, enemies spawn in. And we should see that when we kill these enemies, we can hear the sound and it, the money amount goes up by uh, 10 for each enemy. So in our case, that was 20 and we can kill some more enemies. I'm going to try not die here. And uh, you can see here is the upgrade menu and I'm now able to upgrade my character, but not below the amount of zero there. So there we go. And that's basically uh, the last part of our upgrade system. You should definitely go ahead and add more properties for uh, the player to upgrade. You should definitely go ahead and actually we can just do that. So on our UI overlay and our upgrade menu, I just want to add the core, the cost of the upgrade to the text here. So just select the two text object and add a parentheses and then 50. And you can of course fetch that from the script if you want to. You can insert that by simply referencing the text object and then changing the text. But since it's just a two buttons and a single value, we can just change that by hand. So now it states that more clearly. But play around with this system, add more enemies, add more waves, add different possibilities for spending money and this game should already be a lot of fun to play. So that was basically it for this video. I think we are coming near the end of this series. I still have a few things I want to show you. So I'm excited for uh, getting this far into the series. If you have any things that you're dying to see, please let me know. And without further ado, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. So I'm going to start mentioning Patreon supporters the following month after they donate so that there won't be any difference from donating at the beginning of the month to the end of the month. This way everyone will get a full month of mentions and yeah, everyone will be happy. So uh, just wait for uh, the next month and you will see your name here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.